very good afternoon to all of you and welcome to session two. We have a very exciting session here, which has its foot in today, but looking at the future. So very quickly, I'll uh, introduce you to our eminent panelists slash speakers. Uh, in no particular order, we have Mr. Abhimanyu Raja. He's the managing director, Jan New Technologies, Mumbai, and he's an engineer turned entrepreneur just the kind of people we need more of. Then we have on my left is Brigadier Put Arjunam, a highly experienced serving military officer in the field of information technology and cybersecurity, something that never goes out of fashion. Welcome. And on my right is Mr. Matthew Johnston. He's Minister, Counselor, uh, Education and Research, Australian High Commission in New Delhi. And he represents the Australian Government Department of Education, Skills and Employment. Skill is the new keyword. Welcome. And last but not the least, we have Dr. Rajiv Tyagi, Principal Mount Carmel School, Delhi. And he is from IIT Delhi and then went on to IIT Roorkee. And he has been, uh, you know, experimenting with AI education at the school level. And he will share some of his on the ground uh, stuff. So with that, we will get started. The way we are going to have this session is as follows. I will give a very brief background about what we are trying to talk about and what we are not going to talk about. Then we will maybe take about five, maybe 10 minutes per panelist to speak or express their thoughts. We have done some homework to make sure that we don't duplicate much. After that, I will kind of summarize things and then we'll make this open so that there is more interaction and there is more scope for interactive, organic thought process development. With that, maybe we can get started. So here's my first two minutes. So education, as we understand, is becoming more disruptive, digitized, diverse, distributed, and driven by mission. And at the same time, what we are seeing today is not the same questions that we were asking a few years back. Yes, curriculum is important, but more so, we're talking now of learning outcomes. We're talking about efficacy of teachers. We're talking about how effective is the learning. Is the learning personalized? And by personalized, it's not just anywhere, any time of a video game kind of a uh, personalization. Are we pitching? the information at the right level? Are we pitching the information at the right speed and the language with the student is comfortable at? Then we're again talking about something very different earlier we would shun away from, the rhino in the room, inclusivity. Can we have geographic, gender, regional inclusion? Inclusion for people with disabilities, learning challenges. They were in the jargon, but rhino in the room. Nobody was talking about them. Why is this important? Because today we have this so-called silver bullet called AI, which promises to solve everything, right? The question that we will be debating today is, what are the things AI can do and what AI cannot do? And where we can look at it. So if you look at the whole stack, at the core is the student, and we have a student-centric paradigm of education. So many of us, some of us at least, will be talking about this approach from AI perspective. And then we have the teachers. The teachers have to be empowered. The efficacy of teachers and the efficacy of teaching, they are two different things, have to be augmented. Can, I, can AI help there? Can AI unburden the teacher from the monotonous work that they are doing and leave more space and energy for more creative teaching that the teachers can do. That's another. I mean, people have been talking about replacement of teachers. That's not going to happen. We have to see how we can leverage AI to enable and empower teachers. Some of the panelists will be talking about that point. Then comes the third cog in the wheel, which is basically the environment, the learning environment. So there's a student, there's a teacher, 
But then there's the learning environment. And suddenly we have new words in the dictionary. Micro-learning environment, bite-sized learning, spot learning, right? The attention span is going down. Where can the AI bots help? Can there be an AI-enabled personal tutor? These are some of the learning environments which AI perhaps can help with. Some of the teachers, educators here on the panel will be talking about that today. And then finally at the end of the tunnel is the employer, the industry person who has to take the skilled students and absorb them in a seamless manner. So skilling, upskilling, and then comes the lifelong learning. All of this, can AI help? Can AI help students curate the courses and chart a journey through the space, the education space? Lot of questions, and finally, of course, the ethics of AI, right? Or is this good? In the morning session, somebody said, hey, we don't know much about this thing. This is the, you know, I mean, something that we are not completely sure of. What is the peril of using AI blindly in education? Maybe we'll touch upon those. So with that, I would now request, and again, no particular order, bring, request Mr. Abhimanyu Raja to share his thoughts, please. <laughs> 